Told you I'd clean up and then start the next one. Ha! Welcome. I guess we'll do this Odyssey one first. Odyssey. Uh, pasta Mimic cables again. These are from Mimic cables. So these are the new 2020 revisions. Uh, well, this one's the LCD X black case, and this one is, should be the LCD XC. So let's just whip these both open right now. Wow, that's interesting. As a person who unboxes, that's interesting. Look at that. That's, I don't know, does that save material? Like, it's not just a standard, like it's a, it's the same on all the sides, but it's just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Boom. I like, I like these. These, Elyon can stay in. I bet you could stack them too. I'm sure they're cut out of a, oh, they're cut out of a fucking cylinder. Um, how do they cut that? Hot knife? That's probably the most efficient way to do corners that I've ever seen is they cut them out of a styrofoam tube. Or cylinder. Yeah, they need eight of them. They probably need a foot and a half. That's that's pretty good. I'm I'm okay with that. Is this how? How is that? The, you can't. This is impossible. Do they install this on the cake? This is a solid sil sil ugh, tube of. You can't get this off without cutting it. I like to like return this stuff the way I found it, and that is. Literally fucking impossible. And I will not leave it on there for the review. Yeah, they heat, they heat seal it. Son of a bitch. Make him a gerb. Deficile. All right, you need to be in there. You need to be in there. There's some serial numbers there. Nice case. Like less, not like metal. I don't, I'm okay with like a plastic with metal corner case. It's black, it's unlabeled. Less for people to steal. It's just a straight up and down lock. You don't have to like watch it over. Oh wait. Okay, it locks up. It goes up and those uh, locks. Look at this first. Echo, read notification. Echo, read notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived, including WAP ACM Pro. Open that last unboxing. So, cable looks to be, it's probably going to be the same on this and the XC, so I don't have to do the main unboxing with that. Quarter inch, fucking huge. Like, that is way too long. Got to check out what the pass is doing. Oh, eating with teeny. Yee. Um, that is insanely too long. That actually seems so short. I don't know. Um, we've got heat shrink that makes it even longer because it can't bend until, like, there. And then we've got a four-wire in a very, very tight weave. This would probably be terrible for sounding your urethra. I'm just saying. I don't probably feel, ugh, it's just too much. And then we go up to a split, which is actually nice. Like, I don't hate how long this is because it's narrow. The, the, the one on the periapt cables, like I love periapt, but you guys, this, this is the thing you need to make the split. Stop with that fucking giant chunk that you use. I hate it. Um, up to a two wire, up to the standard Odyssey connectors. <sighs> Very dark here. These feel lighter. Actually, I have Joe's LCD X in the basement. <gasps> I get to do direct comparisons. Um, anyway, Mimic sent me also pads here. I'm not sure if these are Mimic specific pads. I don't know if, I don't, these are pretty soft too. But there's leather and not leather. And then these, oh my God. You know, I don't own LCD X and I really like LCD X. In fact, they're like one of my favorite headphones, LCD X, LCD X. Uh, and I also have those understated leather straps, which I can replace this with under the LCD X, LCD X. 
Oh, yeah. They feel high quality. They just always do. I love this custom piece of foam here. They did modify this case specifically to hold headphones. Anything else in here? Okay. I'm going to push this to the side. Since these are brand spank me new, um, I'm going to have to put them on the burning rig. Also, pasta. Link in the description. I want to make sure the kid that's mowing my lawn doesn't come up and like see me with a camera on my head and giant headphones and thinks I'm a weirdo. Link in the description, pasta. The shark. I bought pasta, a shark. I bought myself another. I was looking up literally noodle stop or anime figures and I saw a company that makes some really, really nice ones. For those of you who don't know, the noodle stop or anime figures are the ones that sit down. Like these girls are all noodle stoppers. It's designed to sit on top of your ramen noodle and hold the thing down. And apparently one of the companies that made a good one, I went to the, the cheapest and it was fucking animals. All the animals. Schleich, that was a fucking company. And I literally bought an animal for pasta, which obviously, if you don't know pasta, she's a shark. Not because she eats men whole, but because of their cute nose, her cute nose. I think it's her cute nose. Backing myself into a corner here. Hold on, hold on. I'm peeling this off, because that's dumb. Um, anyway, these are not that expensive, and they are fucking nice. I mean, it's made in China, but it's like a quality made in China. Like, I'd buy this for my children. I'd be like, here you go, you want a shark? You get a good fucking shark. That is an accurate fucking representation. I could say something like pasta, just nothing, can't get away from pizza. She's gonna eat all the pizza. But no, she just loves sharks. So, pasta baby, you got a shark. I think he'll stay here. There's no fucking way. No, there's no fucking way. If I make him, can I make him bite it? Oh, it almost works. Yes! Okay, pasta shark is there. My animal will show up in a future delivery. Because, of course, my animal is the one that's fucking late. Um, on to the LCD XC real quick. Although we can just assume it's the exact same thing. I'm going to go for speed on this one. Because I want to get into the big box. Hey, look, they made these things. They're great. I'm still, that's, it's really, that's a smart. It's clever. I like when, I like when clever, smart shit happens, you bastards. I'm not going to bother cutting that off the handle right now. I've already been doing this for like nine minutes. Click. Same exact cable. Oh, I just found the keys. The keys for the box. Uh, probably has keys to the box too, I didn't notice. Out. I didn't like the LCD, LCD XCs. Wow. A, face reveal, B, fucking carbon fiber. Carbon fucking fiber and the, the logo over it so it's like floating. <sighs> Stay. Let's take those off my head. Put these on. Hello? Wow, these are really. Oof. These both feel very good. Like, I know how does he, you know, LCDX is. They don't feel as heavy as they used to. At least, maybe my neck has just gotten stronger. I need both of those. This goes here. Oh, these fucking, fucking, yeah. Dude, I might, even if I don't like the way these sound, these may have to go on my wall, because that is a fucking representation of a company. I hope I like them. I hope I like them. I mean, LCDX, I'm pretty much guaranteed to like. The clothes back has to prove itself, because the last one was like, it was just poorly tuned. Okay. Um... Is that what's in here? Oh, good. All right. So it's only two things. Ugh. Rip that up. And they're the same things. I bought speakers, everyone. And guess what? They're speakers I've already fucking reviewed, which means I don't even get a review out of it, which is like cardinal sin of Z reviews. Don't buy anything unless you can get a new review out of it, Z, because you can't write it off if you can't make a new review. Fuck. So anyway, I bought these, even though I was literally given given a much more expensive set of outdoor speakers from um, uh, 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 Aperion Audio. I bought two sets of Polk on-wall monitor 3s in white, and I need the templates that it comes with because I'm gonna put these out on the veranda. I'll show you exactly where on the veranda. 
So if you don't know, these are not really designed for outdoor speakers. They're satellite loudspeakers, one pair, and I'm taking a risk. They're like $130 a pair. And if we pull these caps out, they are compatible with banana plugs, but you have to like, they do this for Europe. Europe doesn't allow banana plugs because apparently you can plug power plugs into speakers and shit in Europe and that's not good. So you got banana plugs and you see the shape is rather unique and it's got a quarter 20 there and it's got multiple places to do things. And if you pull out the cloth grill, the white cloth grill, which by the way, this says paintable in the thing. You will see a soft dome and a custom five inch and there's no space and it has no low end. But this speaker on like, like right in front of you with a subwoofer added is one of the nicest sound experiences ever. I would, on my old apartment, you remember my old apartment, I had the monitor mounted above my head and everyone's like, you're gonna jack off the porn. And I'm like, I'm not. I was gonna mount a pair of these next to that so I could lay in bed and right above my head just have sound and it was gonna be lovely. So when it came time to think of an excuse to buy them again, because I think I had a set, here's what I came up with. And here's the bracket, by the way. I should probably show this off before I go outside. Um, you can stand mount them. It comes with this metal plate, rubber feet. This just goes, how does this mount again? Here and here. Let me push that in. There's a little hole that clips into. Is that it? And there, now it's a stand. Now it's a standing speaker with that weird shape. However, I'm not putting them there. In fact, buying these just indicates that I'm gonna do a whole lot more work because let's go back outside. Two unboxings in a row, I have to go. I'm walking here. I wasn't distracted. That's how people die. Anime titties, that's how people die. I have six pillars out here. I have four pillars in the middle and yeah, there comes Ben, right there. Four of those, the more speakers you put, the less loudly you have to play them. And I know it'll just be perfect. And I'll get up into the thing through the, through the attic here. Through the, oh, it's gonna be great. All right, kids coming and probably say hello. I'm gonna say good night. Thank you for the unboxing. I'll see you all tomorrow, Pulse.